¿Qué hay, Lelich? Bienvenidos a Casa Deportes y Bienvenidos al episodio número 7 Con el NBA 2K16 Con Karim Frequency Vibrations Jackson Mejor conocido como Karim Freak Jackson Nos enfrentamos a LeBron James Después de nuestro gran partido En Madison Square Garden Y ahora recibimos al Rey LeBron Y a los Cleveland Cavaliers De Kyrie Irving De Kevin Love Pero nosotros nos están defendiendo Otro que no sea ni Kyrie Irving Y ni nadie de ellos Y ven aquí lo que hace fenomenal Dwayne Wadeístico Allen Iversonístico Derrick Roseístico, lo que acaba de ser Karim Jackson demostrando un poco de lo que tiene a un poco de esos jugadores que acabo de mencionar, por cierto que obviamente son figuras a seguir para Karim Jackson y aquí acaba de demostrar que les ha aprendido un poco de eso con movimientos circenses como esto, pero también tiene la mano suavecita para robarle el balón así y se la damos a Dan Jackson para que nos dé la asistencia y para que Dan Jackson sepa que queremos ser sus amigos, siguiente jugada al ataque Cleveland Cavaliers y va por el rebote Trey Lance y ahora nos vamos de costa a costa de este oeste Kareem Jackson encuentra a Dante Jackson que va a penetrar la pintura así mejor se la da a Kareem Jackson que pide la mesa para tres sí señor en, en el Energy Solutions Arena si no me equivoco así se llama o oh, creo que tiene otro nombre en nuestra arena pero aquí vean los movimientos otra vez fenomenal enfrentando a Kyrie Irving lo que acaba de ser es increíble ahí, ahí está el nombre sí es el Energy Solutions Arena lo sabía y vean aquí el pase que le ponemos a Trail Lyles en one galardón desbloqueado Kareem Jackson está jugando como un semidios y eso que solo tiene 66 de valoración aquí un poco de movimientos un poco de pasos de baile con Trevor Booker nos está defendiendo quién más sino Kyrie Irving le damos el balón a Gordon Hayward por favor ayúdanos hermano la doble pantalla que le ponemos para que ahora que nos liberemos solo después del pick, este fue el pop y este fue en la mesa para tres y este partido al final de cuentas lo vamos a perder porque son los Cleveland Cavaliers <risas> imposible que le ganáramos a los Cleveland Cavaliers se vació la arena completamente porque nos dieron una paliza, nosotros solo tuvimos algunos highlights y ahora hablando de highlights y hablando de historia vamos a ver toda la historia, ya saben de esta película de Kareem Jackson Living the Dream no olviden que en la sección de comentarios tienen un índice del video Yo, yo, rap. Basquiat, let's go. Got that art for y'all, that real spit. Uh, they call me Basquiat. The Harlem take my pockets full of fat knots. Making all the ladies drop. Paint me street corners green. My bank owes the color bills. Seen half man, half amazing. Oh, you see me out the demigod. Halo crown with the dollar sign, got a pulpit A ghetto saint to a grand design, it's called refocus Before the boss, kiosks, the streets is hopeless I'm that hard, this ain't painting pictures Making new kind of skill, I'm banking up to 12 figures They call me boss, kiosks, pockets full of fat knots Dust to thorn, your boy makes the street pop Got it all locked, but it don't stop, baby Love it when the bunnies bounce, when they on top Boss, kiosks, on the seven seas Making way to the world, no see Boss, kiosks, my pockets go deep, I die I'm in the get up and then creep I'm all hustling, grind, I'm all about my money No time for playing games, and this game ain't funny, ain't funny Okay, yo, he's nice. What's his name? <laughs> hey, he goes by the name Basquiat, yo. Basquiat puts game down on them bars, yo. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, we record a nice mixtape. Hey, do a nice video. Get some honeys up in there dancing. Hey, we can build a franchise around this, yo. Hey, I want us to do a deal, freak. What you mean by us, Vic? I mean us, as in you and me, me and you, putting some serious Skrilla behind this and put me on, man. I'm Basquiat. What? You heard me? <laughs> I'm Basquiat. That's me. That's you? Yeah. One hundred. <laughs> okay, you nice with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow, oh, okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> Basquiat. Yo. We don't need no major label to make this happen, man. And in the end, we reap all the benefits. Think about it. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. Mm. I know as we pass Colonel Young Park, too. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy was the best. I remember when she took us from park to park so we could play ball. And she taught us how to be comfortable in places other than the courts and the projects. Word, word. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy would have us shoot 
hundreds of jumpers all over the court <laughs> with both hands. And hey, you caught on to the ambidextrous thing real <laughs> fast, though. Right. Now, but you were a beast with the hops. You were like 13, five, six, and could reverse dunk with two hands. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I used to bug all the older dudes out on the court. Yep. You yep. <laughs> know? Oh, That's good crazy. times, man. Good times. <laughs> What's wrong, Vic? What's wrong? It's nothing, man. It's... It's silly, really. Come on, Vic. Fess up. I'm just... I'm thinking about how fortunate you are. You know, how... How blessed you are. You know, you, you grew up with a mom's and a dad. Both parents. Your family treated me like family when my dad died in Green Haven in his ninth year on his 40-year bed. You remember that? Yeah. And I turn around, my mom's died from that flu. But that sick parting gift my dad left my mom's? Oh, I feel you, Vic. But it's all right, man. You know, your moms and pops were good people. You know, may they rest in power. So you're gonna patronize me now? Hmm? You're gonna pity the little boy who's Worthless, low-budget parents die from AIDS. Is that what you're gonna do? Yo, don't don't pity me, all right? And don't play me neither. As a matter of fact, go play the lottery. Cause hey, you never know. Your chances might Yo, be better. Vic, 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 Vic. What are you doing right now? You got everything, don't you, freak? What do I have? Nothing. Man, I got nothing. You, you won't even. You won't even, your cheap butt won't even front me. The Skrilla I need to back, a Basquiat mixtape, yo. Wow. And on top of that, I get banned from traveling with the team. I get banned from the locker rooms. I get banned from the arena. But what? Would you let them do this to your best friend, man? Yo, what kind of friend are you? Vic, you being serious right now. You're serious. Yo, you sound like you on some Welch's sour grape right now, man. You jelly? I ain't jealous of you, freak. You sure, man? Because this, well, I don't know what you call this little tirade. It spreads like some Welch's grape jelly. Are you jealous? Like I said, I ain't jealous of you, freak. As a matter of fact, I think you are jealous of me. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's right. I think you jealous of the way that I'm laying it down with these hottie hotties on Instagram oh. while you stuck at home with your one blazing beauty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't get heated because you went behind my back to get at Yvette, and she turned you down, B. Hmm? Oh, well, what's wrong, Basquiat's? Yeah, that's right. Look at you. Out there drowning in the middle of a whack lake without a lifesaver. Brother, real talk. Mm -hmm. You know how I get. All right, I was... I was feeling a little friendly. I yeah. got a little loose with it. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah, up yeah, and out. Yeah, you yeah. know me, man. Save that riff for Heathcliff. Yvette told me all about it. I kept it on the low low. See if you ever was gonna mention it. You did it. You broke the code, B. One never steps to his boy's boo even after they break up. But you broke the code. And you know you did. But you know what? It's still all love here. But it's you who chooses this life in these streets. You know, you want to get on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tinder, trying to chase these thirsty tens. Yeah, use my name as a coupon. Reel them all in. Hey, sweet thing. Hey, sweetie pie. Hey, shawty, you know I'm a FOF, a friend, a freak. And then when they husbands and boyfriends start coming after you and you want to play the macho man role, start throwing hands, scrapping and fighting, who's the one that has to bail you out of jail? Huh? Who's the one that has to pay these lawyers in six-figure settlements, huh? Me! Not you. Oh, no, not you, Vic. And then, and then when you want to throw these lavish parties without consulting me, who's the one stuck with the bill, Vic? Huh? Me! Not you! But me! 
I have hit you off in the past 10 months with a quarter of a million dollars, Vic. A quarter of a million dollars. That's a lot of money. I don't mind you eating, but when you being a glutton and a glutton off my plate and my food, love is love, but I'm keeping it 10 times 10 with you right now, Vic. 100, as usual, 100. Right, Freak. <laughs> You've been carrying me for a long time. And I've been a burden and a hindrance to you. And I'm sorry. I thank you for your generosity of finance. I thank you for your generosity of friendship. And I thank you for your generosity of spirit. You know what? It's all good, my brother. But you owe me. Oh, you. Yeah, you owe me. Yeah, how you figure Big that? Big time. Uh-huh. How? How? Dirt, bike, dime. <laughs> Remember him? Dude who was robbing everybody in the towers? Vic, I thought we was never, ever gonna talk about that. Oh, you thought wrong, homie. <laughs> ah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Remember when we were on the stairwell in the building? Remember that? We had just brought our sheepskin coach from Delancey Street, a senior year of high school. You were the hottest prospect in the country. <laughs> And and Donnie's jealous butt, man. He had it out for you and me. But more so you, Free. More so you. <laughs> Remember when he saw our brand new fresh sheepskin coats? Oh, dude lost his mind. He ran up on you and told you to run it. Man. Oh, man, he wanted your Yo, no, nah, Vic. Oh, he wanted Vic, it so Vic, bad. No, we were fighting, all right? We were fighting. Okay, then he reached in this coat. And when he pulled, yeah. we struggled, man. Yeah. And it, when he pulled back, he fell down stairway by himself that's right, that's and right, cracked his right. head in two. Yo, man, hey, calm, down, calm down, calm down, yo, it's all good. It's all good, fam. I was there. Remember that? I was there. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> it's like you said, everything happened so fast. You know, you, you was working off of adrenaline and pure instinct. I know you didn't try and do it. I know you didn't try and do it, man. Yeah. Anyway, I took care of all the loose ends when you ran down the flight of steps. Left me holding the bag. Yeah. <laughs> so your secret is safe with me, Free. Has been and always will be. Safe from that same morality clause that you threw in my face when I was banned from your NBA life. <laughs> so, next time you want to talk about food, remember. When Dirt Bike Donnie looked at you like food, who was it that saved the day? Me! It was me! Victor Van Leer, who cleaned your dirty plate for you! You're a clean freak. You're clean it in the board of health. Cause of who? Cause of me. You got all this because of me. And don't you ever forget that. I just thought of something so funny. You gonna get kicked out of this? You gonna get kicked out of this? Yo, I need you to ask you for one more favor. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, it might be the last favor I ever ask of you, but you gotta admit that's really funny. Yeah, of course. Anything for FOF. <laughs> oh, hey, says the NBA megastar, his voice dripping with the sarcasm. <laughs> hey, yo, peep this. Let me borrow this here ride, man. <laughs> right, come on, come on. It's not like you're gonna miss it. It's just gonna sit in your Tribeca garage next to your Aston Martin and your Lambo, mm. and we both know they're collecting dust. 
<laughs> Yo, how many whips you got anyway? Man, come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't even want to know. Yo, this ride is for sure an aphrodisiac for all the hottie hots. <laughs> man, we living the life, man. My main man, Frequency Vibrations. We for sure living the dream. I need this back at the end of the season in the same condition. Repeat, same condition. Same condition. That I lent it to you. Mm -hmm. Pristine, Vic. I know, I know what that word means. Hey, <laughs> I, I won't let you down, man. I'm gonna treat this ride like one of my own hottie hots. No. No? No, you not. Not in this car, you not. No. <laughs> All right, man. I won't let you down, okay? I will change my ways, I promise. Yo, you hungry? I'm hungry, man. Let's go get something to eat, man. Let's, let's, get, let's, let's get some grub. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? Wow. Freak, I didn't expect you to be here. Coach let practice out early. Hmm. You okay? What's going on? Same old, same old. Hmm. Wow, your shoulders are really tight. Are they stressing you out again? Yeah. Well, you know you always got me, right? <laughs> I'm always gonna be here. Baby, I'm your ride or die. And as quiet as it's kept, you and I are the real team freak. <laughs> of course. Word of my moms. I never had this feeling with any other woman in my life. And she gave me a different feeling, which was something I fell in love with. I never asked her to be my girlfriend. It just became that. You could tell when we started falling, like, I get a text message, and she's like, <laughs> who's that? And it's just like, oh, so we worried now. Oh, so no more of that? All right, you know what I mean? So that's how, that's how I came to agreement. What's different about you that? Well, when you could teach me something or give me knowledge about anything, I'm already attracted to you as a person. I love learning, and she was very intellectual, and she's a very strong woman. And in this life, I need a strong woman. Kareem Jackson sabe, él sabe, Kareem Jackson es todo un Don Juan. <laughs> Hey, pero obviamente, como este es un canal familiar, no podíamos mostrar todo lo que sucedió después de ese escena. No, no es cierto, también es un videojuego familiar y claro que no iba a haber nada como eso. Pero lo que sí iba a haber son partidos como el Ocla contra el Oklahoma City Thunder, donde Carlos King, por detrás de toda la defensiva del Oklahoma, por afuera de la pintura, así va a conseguir la mesa para tres. Increíble lo que está desarrollando su juego. Karim Jackson aquí en la historia contra este partido contra el Oklahoma City Thunder, mientras Trey Lyles no da la asistencia, es evitar que ellos pasen a la postemporada porque nuestro equipo ha sido apestoso y no nos hemos conseguido eh, pues nada relevante no aquí nos vamos de costa a costa de este oeste nos bloquea un poco Russell Westbrook pero le damos el balón a Ingles a Joe Ingles yo sé que hay nombres graciosos como el como me lo hacían saber en la sección de comentarios nuestro papá que se llama el señor Pete en español el señor Pete algo muy divertido pero vean aquí por detrás de toda la defensiva de lo que la Home City Thunder Kareem Jackson aquí no intenta ser divertido pero sí intenta ser grosero brutal y esos son algunos de los adjetivos que definen o que describen mejor el mate que nos acaba de regalar Kareem Jackson aquí Russell Westbrook liberándose de las marcas pero no consigue anotar el triple y nos vamos de costa a costa 
con Karim Jackson que encuentra a Dante Exxon que pone el freno de mano, que se eleva las manos arriba, el balón adentro y qué fórmula están haciendo, qué binomio es Dante Exxon y Karim Jackson, aquí le intentamos de quitar el balón a Russell Westbrook, lo conseguimos pero vean la defensiva que tiene, es un excelente defensivo y Dante Exxon que estuvo prendido en este partido, pero como pueden ver en el marcador, poco son de válidos o poco valiosos los esfuerzos, no, son valiosos pero sirven de muy poco lo que está intentando hacer Karim Jackson y más cuando le das el balón queda abajo del aro Trevor Booker y no la clava, ni siquiera consigue los dos puntos, le devuelve el balón a Karim Jackson que apenas está desarrollando su tiro de triple y quiere ganar así, es imposible es imposible, 108 a 94 leales youtuberos si no me equivoco quedan dos episodios más donde les mostraré la vida de Karim Jackson en esta historia que nos regala Spike Lee en el episodio número 8 creo que es nuestro último partido contra los Ángeles Lakers, un poco más de historia y en el episodio 9 seguramente les mostraré mi destino en la agencia libre y el final de la Living the Dream obviamente esta serie continuará y nosotros le iremos añadiendo, añadiendo más cosas pero la historia de Spike Lee acaba en el episodio número 9 donde habrá más cinemáticas que nada, se los voy adelantando y para que estén muy atentos, muy pendientes a ese episodio leales youtuberos, esto es Doño por este video muchas gracias, ya saben que se recibió, les gustó los likes si me son bien recibidos y los comentarios intentan ser contestados, no olviden seguirme en mis redes sociales, en Twitter y en Facebook para estar enterado de toda la actividad del canal y poder contactarme de forma más directa, no olvides comer frutas y verduras y ahí nos solemos